Hi there, Joel at Earth Tools here, and we're going to talk a little bit about the G, uh, excuse me, the Grillo G110 PTO engagement system. And most of the concepts I'm going to talk about here apply to many other walk behind tractors as well, other Grillo models as well as BCS models, but we picked this model to illustrate. So, on the G110, we've got a PTO coupling that is on the PTO drive shaft here. When you pull the, when you push the PTO lever into the engaged position, which would be moving the lever toward the engine, the coupling itself simply slides out, pops into another position in a, in, in, you know, with those teeth projecting. These three teeth are what engage with the implement shaft teeth. This is the shaft out of a lawnmower implement that would fit on this tractor, and as you can see, it has mating, three mating teeth on it. So when this thing slides out, it simply slides into these teeth and then it can drive. Well, as you might imagine, sometimes when the, when the implement is put in place on the tractor and you go to engage the PTO, these three teeth are not lined up with the, these three teeth. They may meet end to end. And if they can't drop down in there, it's not gonna to wanna to fully engage. So what you've got to do to make it engage easily is you've got to get this shaft to turn slightly. So <clears throat> the way we're going to do that easily is we're going to use the clutch on the tractor. So if you're attempting to engage the PTO, and right now we have this tractor in the front PTO mode, so we'd be mount mounting something like a mower or a chipper shredder or a snowblower out here. So I'd be pulling back on this PTO lever in order to engage the, the PTO. If the handlebars were on the other side, of course, I'd be pushing. But as I said earlier, we, we think about it as this lever moving toward the engine. That engages the PTOs. At any rate, if you're attempting to engage the PTO and there's resistance, it doesn't feel like it wants to go because those teeth are just not lined up properly, you need to get the shaft to turn. You'd use the clutch. Just push the clutch down ever so slightly. Now the G110 has the active clutch control. This is the only tractor model we sell with this style of clutch. So the clutch control is on top. Some of the newer ones have a little safety catch right here. This one doesn't have that because it's a little older. But at any rate, just keep a little pressure on the gear shift in the direction you want it to move and bump the clutch a little bit. Every time you bump the clutch, that PTO shaft is gonna turn a little bit and as soon as those teeth line up, since you have pressure on them, they're going to drop right into place. No fuss, no excessive force. Ignore the phone, somebody else will get it. Uh, no excessive force is necessary, just some finesse. Finesse, not force. If you pull too hard or push too hard on the PTO engagement lever to try to get it to, to try to force it into place, you're going to end up damaging your PTO shift linkage. You've got a lot of leverage on this lever and a lot of strength and we have seen it happen on all makes and models of tractors. Now, if you have a BCS tractor or a different model Gorilla tractor that has a clutch on the bottom, which is the standard clutch models, then you would normally squeeze the clutch first in order to shift your PTO. So if, again, if it doesn't go into gear, you can keep a little pressure on it, slowly let out the clutch a little bit while keeping some pressure on the PTO lever until if you feel it drop in. If you let out the clutch too fast, you'll hear some grinding. So you know that you've made a mistake, reapply the clutch and just do it slower. So this knowledge will help you use your tractor for years without damaging the PTO. Thanks for watching.